Magandang araw sa lahat. In this presentation, we will be discussing about a digital instructional material which is infographics. Ang pinakaimportanting parte ng presentasyong ito ay ang mga halimbawa ng infographics. Pero bago tayo tumungo sa mga halimbawa, let us begin by knowing what is an infographic. An infographic is a visual representation or an image such as diagram, chart, or picture representing information or data. So basically, infographic is the combination of graphics and information. Ang infographics ay maaaring gamitin sa napakaraming paraan. It can be used in marketing, presenting financial reports. It can also be used as a medium for communication, presenting sales, advertising business, and as well as in digital designing. Now, these are just some of the uses of infographics. And infographics are also very useful in education, specifically in the teaching and learning process, as it can be used as an effective digital instructional material. Now, by using infographics as an instructional material, you can create an engaging atmosphere inside the class. It makes it easier to catch the interest and attention of your students. Some of the advantages of using infographics in teaching is that you can present a lesson or information in a creative, clear, and concise manner. The learning process will also be more effective dahil mas madali nating makukuha ang atensyon ng ating mga estudyante. Maliban sa visually appealing ang infographics, ay mas madali rin para sa kanila ang pag-digest sa mga impormasyon. Pagdating naman sa paggawa ng infographics, ay maraming mga infographic maker websites ang maaari nating gamitin online. At ang ilan sa mga kilalang websites ay ang Canva, Visme, at Vengage. So now, let me give you a little overview on how each of these websites look like. For the first one, Canva. Canva is an infographic maker website that offers thousands of free infographic templates. So you can choose from any of these templates and just edit them the way you want it to look like or you can also create your own design if you would like to. So for the second one, the Visme, Visme has many categories to choose from, but to create infographic, just click on the infographic category and choose the template that you would like to use for your infographic. And for the third one, the Vengage, Vengage also offers many infographic templates. Just click on the infographic category and start choosing the template you want. Now, the unique aspect of this website is that you can directly choose what type of infographic you would like to work on. For example, if you would like to work on informal infographics, just click on informal. And there are also many other options like timeline, list, process, and so on. So, those are the three most commonly used infographic maker websites. As an instructional material, infographics can serve many purposes. And some of these purposes are to show a process, to simplify a complex concept, and to present interesting facts. And now, let us proceed to the most important part of this presentation, which is the examples. I will be presenting three examples of infographics that we have made and we choose the subject signs for those infographics and each of those infographics serves different purposes. For the first example, life cycle of a butterfly which is under biology. The second one is meteor terminology which is under astronomy and the last example is entitled our body is composed of what's in a human body. I will be explaining each of these infographics briefly. The first example is the life cycle of a butterfly. Kung mapapansin nyo, ang format ng infographics ay pahaba. 
Mahaba siya ng konti vertically, so we will be zooming out each section of the infographic for us to have a clearer view on the content. For the first example, its purpose is to show a process, the life cycle of a butterfly. Stage 1, butterfly eggs. The egg stage usually lasts 3 to 7 days, but this can vary quite a bit among different species of butterflies. In fact, some species overwinter as eggs and undergo diapause to survive the many months of winter. Kapag ang isang mother butterfly ay nangitlog sa winter, ang kanyang mga itlog ay pansamantalang mananatiling dormant. At sa loob ng winter season, ang mga itlog na ito ay hindi mapipisa hanggang matapos ang winter. At ito ang tinatawag na diapause. At alam nyo ba na ang mga caterpillar ay pihikan? So each caterpillar species likes only certain types of leaves, kaya naman ang mga mother butterfly ay namimili ng mabuti kung saan mangingitlog para masigurong mapipisa ang mga ito sa uri ng dahon na pwede nilang kainin. Next, for the stage 2, caterpillar. A very tiny caterpillar hatches from the egg. The first meal for most caterpillars is the eggshell. The caterpillar is designed to be an eating machine, and before it begins to pupate, it will increase its body mass thousands of times. The only thing that a caterpillar do is to eat until they grow. Their exoskeleton, or their skin, does not actually stretch while growing, so they grow by molting or shedding the outgrown skin several times while it grows. Kung titingnan natin ang isang caterpillar, Iisipin natin nagsistretch ang balat nito, pero ang totoo ay paulit-ulit itong nagpapalit ng balat habang lumalaki. The next stage is stage 3, chrysalis. The pupal shell is developing underneath the caterpillar skin. This shell can take many forms and shapes depending on the species of butterfly. Once the caterpillar is firmly in place, the excess skeleton will split off exposing the pupa. In this stage, as soon as a caterpillar is done growing and they have reached their full length or weight, they form themselves into a pupa, also known as a chrysalis. From the outside of the pupa, it looks as if the caterpillar may just be resting, but the inside is where all of the action is. Inside of the pupa, the caterpillar is rapidly changing. Ang mga pagbabago sa katawan ng caterpillar sa loob ng pupa ay ang tinatawag nating metamorphosis. At kadalasan, ang stage na ito ay tumatagal ng sampu hanggang lapin-apat na araw. But, butterfly chrysalis's period vary from species to species. And for the last stage, stage 4, winged adult. When a butterfly emerges from a chrysalis, its wings are crumpled. The butterfly will hang with its wings down and will begin pumping the wings full of fluids from their body to straighten them out. Then, the butterfly must wait several hours for the wings to harden and dry before it can fly away. The reason why their wings are crumpled is because it had to fit all of its new parts inside of the pupa. And as soon as the butterfly had rested after coming out of the chrysalis, it will pump blood into the wings in order to get them working and flapping. Then they get to fly. So that's it for the first infographic, which is the life cycle of a butterfly. And all of the information in this infographic was retrieved from the site below. Proceeding to the next example, Meteor Terminology. The purpose of this infographic is to simplify a complex concept. For the first part of the meteor terminology, asteroid. Asteroids, also known as planetoids, are objects that orbit the sun, too small to be a dwarf planet, but large enough to get their own designation. Sa madaling salita, ang asteroid ay ang mga malalaking celestial rocks. Generally, asteroids are celestial rocks that are 10 meters or larger in size. The next term is meteoroid. These are rocks orbiting the sun smaller than asteroids, basically anything smaller than 10 meters. They are extremely dangerous to equipment in orbit, and many of them burn up in Earth's atmosphere on entry. 
Kumbaga, ang mga meteoroid ay ang mga smaller version ng asteroid. At mapanganib ito sa mga equipment gaya ng satellites dahil kapag tinamaan ito ng meteoroid ay maaari itong masira o sumabog. The third term is the meteor. When an asteroid or meteoroid enters Earth's atmosphere, it becomes a meteor or also known as a shooting star. Friction from Earth's atmosphere causes most meteor to burn up, protecting the life below and producing a cool show in the process. Sa oras na makapasok ang meteoroid o asteroid sa atmosphere ng Earth, ay nagiging meteor na ang tawag dito. At kapag nakapasok na ito sa atmosphere ng Earth, ay magsisimula itong masunog dahil sa friction at mataas na atmospheric pressure. And because of that, a streak of light is created. The burning up of the meteor protects us because the smaller the rock that remains after burning up causes lesser harm or danger when it finally hit the ground. Meteors can enter the Earth's atmosphere as a lone object or as a single shooting star or in clusters like meteor shower. And for the last term, meteorite. When a meteoroid survives a trip through the atmosphere and hits the ground, it's called a meteorite. Ang mga parte ng meteor na hindi tuluyang nasunog sa pagpasok nito sa atmosphere ng Earth at tuluyang tumama sa lupa ay ang tinatawag nating meteorite. So, all of the information in this infographic was retrieved from the following sites below. And that's it for the second infographic. As a little review or summary, asteroids are large celestial rocks while meteoroids are the smaller version of asteroids. And meteors are either meteoroid or asteroid that entered the Earth's atmosphere while meteorites are celestial rocks that reached the Earth's ground or surface. Now, for the last example of infographics, entitled, Our Body is Composed of What's in a Human Body? The purpose of this infographic is to present interesting facts. For the first fact, our teeth. You may be surprised that humans have teeth as strong as shark's teeth. Ayon sa mga siyantipiko, pagkaiba man ang hugis at dami ng mga ngipin ng tao at pating, ay halos pagkasinlakas naman ang mga ito dahil ang mineral components ng ngipin natin at ng mga pating ay halos magkapareho rin. The next fact is about our blood vessels. If all the blood vessels in the body were laid together, they would stretch about 96,560 kilometers or 60,000 miles, enough to circle the Earth twice. Since the circumference of the Earth is only 40,008 kilometers long, kayang palibutan ng ating mga blood vessels ang Earth ng higit sa dalawang beses. And what's more surprising is that the 80% of this length is actually composed of the capillaries, which are the smallest kind of blood vessels. Though blood vessels are relatively small, the network is amazingly long. The next fact will be about our stomach. The acid in the stomach is strong enough to dissolve razor blades. The main purpose of our stomach acid or digestive juice is to break down the food that we eat. Pero maliban sa pagtunaw ng pagkain, responsable rin ito sa pagpatay ng mga bacteria. Our stomach acid, which is hydrochloric acid, has a very high acidity level which is capable of killing bacteria and strong enough to even dissolve a metal. Good thing that our stomach has a special lining that protects it from the acid. And the last fact talks about our brain. Around 75-80% to 80 of our brain is actually water. This is important for correct brain functions. One study suggested that after drinking a glass of water, the brain becomes up to 14% faster. And because of that, even slight dehydration can cause fatigue, headache, and stress. Kaya naman mahalagang uminom ng sapat na tubig araw-araw upang masigurong gumagana ng tama ang ating mga utak. Ang lahat ng impormasyon na makikita sa infographic na ito ay kinuha mula sa site na nasa ibabang parte ng infographic. Always remember that in making an infographic, 
you should always include the references to ensure the validity of the information stated in your infographics. And those are the three examples of infographics that we've made.